Hey everyone, what's up? Today I want to show you how you can get something very unique. Now, I'm not going to be doing a typical iOS status bar. This iOS status bar looks like it. However, when you pull down, you get your traditional Samsung status bar. With an iOS status bar, you get rid of all those quick toggles that Samsung or any other Android device works so hard to implement within it. And you'll have to find yourself downloading a third party control panel or something like that. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can eliminate that process and free up even more space by working through Aptoid. <laughs> So I'm just going to jump right into the video and if you don't know how to get Aptoid, I'll leave a link to the video down below. We're going to want to type in iOS status bar within Aptoid and make sure you have the latest version so it's more accurate. Now we're going to want to click on where it says search other stores. Now searching other stores means that it's no longer in the actual Aptoid app, it'll just redirect you to the online link to an extended version of Aptoid all still safe. We're going to want to click on the very first version which you can see right at the top here. It just is iOS 7 status bar. The green badge means that it's safe to install so um, here are what it looks like. So as you can see at the top it not only has iOS 7 or 8 but it does have an iOS 6 theme if you like the throwbacks and as you can see here is the iOS 7 and 8 and it does change within certain apps. So without further ado, let's install it. In order to install it, you're going to want to make sure that you have unknown devices or unknown sources enabled within your settings. Now, if you don't know how to do that, check the description box below or simply ask me in the comments and I'll show you how it's done. That is mandatory in order for this tutorial to work. Now that it's all finished installing, we are going to then go back and read some more reviews. I just want to tell you guys that it's 100% safe and you should definitely try it. Of course, I've done it on my phone and I'm still living and surviving. I obviously wouldn't upload this video if it was not already safe and this was pre-recorded. So I'm doing this voiceover around three weeks later and it's all good. By the way, I'm doing this different. I'm doing a voiceover over the recording, so it may be a little bit weird or awkward. So here I'm just showing you how the interface looks and the reviews. So you can definitely go to Aptoid yourself and read through it. Now it's time to actually get into the app and do some settings with it. So here we are within the app and as soon as we go in, as long as that top part is enabled, we're good to go. So we're going to need to insert our carrier name so you can do Rogers, TELUS, T AT and t whatever you have, Bell. Now you can more so maneuver all the quick toggles the way that you like it. So here we go, we're working. I'm just going through clicking the things that I want and it's completely customizable based on what you need in your Android launcher. So it's going to take us to accessibility because we need to enable the status bar. So simply check it on, click OK when it has the pop-up window to ask you. And this should be the same all around each and every Android uh, interface. We can turn on or off notification alerts. We can choose the custom alert background and we can toggle on or off the iOS theme style. So as you can see, when you scroll down, you get that I OS look at the top. However, once you scroll down, you get the Android interface. This is really important because quick toggles are there and everyone loves quick toggles as well as the swipe view that Android provides. It's all fully functioning and it's just a skin on top of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later on DCP. Have a blessed week. Bye.